We will discuss Botox usage, effectivity, main limitations and side effects from medical view. First we should say that Botox injections mainly are used for cosmetic purposes, especially for reduction of wrinkles. For example, it reduces wrinkles on forehead very well, also fronts lines which are vertical lines between the eyebrows. Also it is used for crow's feet, crow's feet is horizontal lines around eyes here and gummy smile, gummy smile is when person is smiling and his upper lips goes too much up and person's gums are short and marionette lines, marionette lines is these lines around the lips. So Botox is used to reduce these wrinkles and what is mechanism of action? Uh, main action of Botox or botulinum toxin, main ingredient of Botox is botulinum toxin, it's inhibition of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is neurotransmitter which is released between muscle and nerves. This is nerve and this is muscle and between them there is neuromuscular junction and here acetylcholine are released and this muscle is contracted and if we inhibit acetylcholine uh, this muscle contraction will not happen that's why it reduces wrinkles that's the mechanism of action now let's say now let's say important highlights and facts about botulinum toxin um, and botox most people who start botox uh, the average age of such people is 39 but there is some studies and according to this if person starts uh, using of botox earlier uh, it can be preventive it can prevent further wrinkling of face but it's not promotion of botox injections of course so it's highly personalized decision of course this finding requires further revision Botox effect lasts around three to six months. Usually its effectivity is 4.5 months. And Botox also reduces sweating around 85%. That's why Botox injections are used also to reduce sweating, for example, in the armpits. And injections at this case are made armpits or hands or soles. It depends part of the body where there is uh, hyperhidrosis, which means excessive sweating. Also, Botox injections decreases attacks of migraine by 50%. That's why Botox injections also used to treat migraine. And uh, this injection happens around the head, forehead, neck, shoulder, it depends. Depends specific places. There is no uh, well established explanation why it happens and why Botox is effective for migraine but it, it is thought that it stops pain spreading uh, between neurons that's why uh, it can be effective and patient satisfaction with mm, Botox injections is around 80% it's quite high it means that Botox injections in many cases is effective and satisfactory for patients. It's important. And here is important question that what, what will be sensation after injection? Of course there can be minor bruises or minor pain or minor uh, numbness um, after injection but it's only short term and it's temporary sensation of the face and of skin remains fully and remains normal but because of uh, con decreased contractility of muscles there can be some tightness or heaviness so yes we say that sensation will be normal but person still can experience some tightness or heaviness on their face that's important also we should 
now before to Botox injection. Usually, uh, Botox injection requires repet repetitory injections uh, after six or after four months, and over time, this interval between injections can increase and lower and lower dosage can be more effective it depends but sometimes it happens opposite and botox resistance occurs in around one to five percent it means that person every time needs higher and higher dosage to reach same effectivity such cases are low these cases are correlated with antibody production towards botulinum toxin so our body starts fighting against this uh, botulinum toxins and neutralize it so it can't uh, be effective enough but such cases are rare and botox also can cause reversible muscle atrophy uh, which means uh, atrophy and, and thinning of muscles but it's usually reversible and when person stops in taking an injection of uh, botox this muscle atrophy will disappear that's most important part i wanted to say about botox if we summarize it considered safe and effective method uh, to fight uh, wrinkles and wrinkle reduction on the face it mo it's more effective for dynamic muscles for example such as forehead lines or front lines and it's less effective uh, static lines and static uh, starting wrinkles like marionette lines uh, but it's still effective but less uh, if we ask if botox has long-term important side effects at this stage we don't know if such long-term uh, uh, side effects exist and medical society agrees that botox injections is safe for long term there are some study around five and some study more than five years which is um, observe people with botox injections who do botox injections regularly and no specific and important uh, side effects or change of body functioning usually botox affects only locally and not um, generally whole body and uh, botox or botulinum toxin is considered that it's highly specific so it does not affect body functioning it only affects specific muscles at this case where you inject inject uh, that's why it's considered safe and effective but of course this is highly personalized decision and i can't advise to anyone but that's all what i can say in from medical view thank you very much thank you for your interest if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now